This builder showcase will demonstrate a typical workflow for preparing and analyzing simple polymer models using the approach Build, Simulate, and Analyze, which can all be done using Schrodinger's Material Science Suite. First, we'll build an amorphous cell from a polyethylene homopolymer. Second, we'll discuss equilibrating the cell with molecular dynamics. And third, we will discuss different metrics associated with analyzing the polymer chain structures. Additionally, I'll demonstrate how to send the polymer system into PyMol to create a short movie. Polymers are a critical class of materials central to applications from composites and ceramics to lubricants to superalloys to propellants and more. A polymer is a material which consists of repeating subunits known as monomers that have joined together in a polymerization process. In materials, science maestro, or MS Maestro, a polymer can be constructed using the Polymer Builder, which is the tool used for parameterizing a polymer build. The panel consists of four tabs. The Groups tab specifies the chemical groups to use for the polymer build. The Composition tab specifies how the monomers are arranged to form the polymer and the number of repeat units in the polymer. The Chain Growth tab specifies parameters for the growth of the polymer chain. The Amorphous Cell tab creates one or more cubic amorphous cells from each of the polymers that are being built. The size of the cell is determined from the number of polymer molecules and the final density. The periodic boundary condition properties are added to the structure when the cell is created. I'm going to generate a polyethylene amorphous cell. I'll start with defining the ethylene monomer. I'll set the number of monomers to 20, so the length of a single homopolymer chain will consist of 20 ethylene monomer units. Then, I'll create an amorphous cell with 100 polymer chains. The Polymer Builder panel is set up. Let's go back to the workspace and view the system just built. The amorphous cell is shown in the project workspace. This system contains 100 polymer chains composed of 20 monomers in each chain. This amorphous cell is unequilibrated. To equilibrate the polyethylene structure to predict bulk properties from the resulting cell, we would need to run a molecular dynamics or MD simulation. I performed an MD simulation and this structure is the equilibrated system from the MD simulation Let's view the MD trajectory. Polymer properties are significant in allowing us to understand material properties and design new polymeric materials. Let's analyze this polymer system using our polymer chain analysis panel. Viewing the polymer chain analysis results show that the mean end-to-end -end distance over each time step averages to approximately 25 angstroms. Some other polymer properties we can calculate in MS Maestro are glass transition temperature, Tg, coefficient of thermal expansion, CTE, yield strain, yield point, and elastic tensors for a well-equilibrated cross-link system to name a few. Lastly, I'm going to export the system into PyMol and create a movie with a few clicks. I've separated out and stylized one of the polymer chains. PyMol will let us visualize and animate our system in a way MS Maestro cannot. In PyMol, I'm going to quickly make a few scenes. I will add my scenes to my timeline, and my movie is ready to play. Here is the finished movie. Enjoy!